Hey everyone, it's Joe. Uh, this is going to be a video response to Loving Don't. I seem to make a lot of video responses to you, my dear, but that's because you always give me pause for thought. Cause for thought? Pause for thought? Yes, Stanley. And your latest video was about um, kind of judging Christians the way Christians judge atheists, if I get it correctly. Um, it was kind of painting them all with the same brush and kind of calling them names or um, having disrespect, disrespecting their beliefs. And I was fascinated by this because I have to say, I'm like the people you describe. I, I really, since I discovered the truth, and you gotta remember, I'm still, I do not consider myself atheist. I still believe something's out there. Um, but Christians or anybody who abides by um, one of the, you know, the big, the big religions, I have disrespect for, and I wish I didn't. I listen to you speak and I think, you're so tolerant. Like, if only I could be as tolerant as you are. Um, because tolerance is, is a wonderful thing. It's a virtue. I wish that uh, when I was a Christian, you know, I had been a tolerant Christian, but I wasn't. I was an intolerant Christian who believed everyone was going to hell except for Catholics and um, crap like that. And I think I think I was born with a fundamentalist streak in me. That, And I also happened to be born in a Catholic family with fundy Catholic parents. So it was really amplified. But when I lost a religion, the fundy streak remained. And, and I don't like that aspect in myself at all. And yet I don't know how to change it. So I always say when someone tells me they believe in God, and I don't just mean believe in God, because anybody can believe in a God. And I'm actually OK with that. I, I don't really judge people who believe in God. I usually put in the, uh, is it, how's it pronounced, corollary? I, I usually say, OK, go, okay, fine, you're a Christian or whatever. But did you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? Because that's the mark of a Looney Tunes to me. Right there, that's the mark of a Looney Tunes. If Jesus is Christ is your personal Lord and Savior, he died for you, or are you saved? Looney Tunes! And that's a very judgmental thing to say. But it would, to me, I always replace the word Jesus with Santa. I always say, do you believe in Santa? Um, if you believe in Santa, you got a bit of a problem. I'm sorry, you do. And I wish I could just accept the fact that some people need that to get through the day. Um, and a case in point was the other day my mom and I had a pretty big argument because, um, as you know, there's all kinds of shit hitting the fan in the Catholic Church, much to my delight. And um, I'd love to see that church crumble. Um, my mom and I were discussing uh, what's going on in the Catholic Church and she kept trying to cut me off. She said, I don't think you understand. I don't want to talk about it. I'm going to cut these sneezes out. So if you see breaks, it's because I've got allergies. <laughs> Um, my mother and I were discussing the Catholic nonsense, the, the newsworthy, which has been, every Catholic knew about this for decades and centuries and millennia. I don't understand why it's suddenly news. But I was telling my mother, I wanted her to read an article, and she said, absolutely not. She said, you don't understand, it'll just upset me. And I was like, you'd rather be in the dark than upset. Like, you'd rather be blissfully unaware then know something is true and be upset about it. And she said, yes, flat out, yes. And that's what I think I see wrong with most Christians is that they would rather be uh, stupid and wrong than, not stupid, what was the term you used in your video? You said something like uh, that you'd rather, because you're right, some people are good people because they're Christian, because they're told that if they're not good people, they're going to hell. So they try very hard to do good things, good deeds, charitable acts. Um, oftentimes I find it very patronizing or I find it um, phony baloney, but you know, it's better that they are that way than they're not that way. But back to my original point, I think it just bothers me so much that people would rather be in the dark and, and like know that something's amiss, but just la, you know, la 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 la, cover your eyes, cover your, cover your ears, don't want to hear it, don't want to talk about it. It reminds me of abusive relationships where you, you know, you suddenly stop speaking to all your friends because they're, uh, they're trying to tell you that there's something wrong with your husband who beats you and you just don't want to hear it because you know something's wrong but you don't want to hear it. You just want to pretend everything's okay. And um, I see that in a lot of Christians and I think that's a, a character flaw and I have a hard time not judging. Um, I have a hard time not judging that. Uh, so at the end of the day, um, of course, I want people to be tolerant towards me. It stands to reason I should be tolerant towards them. Uh, I just wanted to give you the perspective of someone who was raised so fundy, truly believes that it is a character trait of mine to be this fundamentalist and this set in my beliefs and this judgmental and this rigid, but somebody who works very hard at tempering those things because at least I'm aware of it and at least um, I can take stabs at not articulating. Just because I think it doesn't mean I need to say it. That's been a long lesson for me to learn in this lifetime. Um, I still wish I didn't think it. 
but I think that's true for a lot of things that kind of go on. I wish I didn't fall in love with the guys that I fall in love with, or I wish that, um, you know, I'm sure there's a million things that go through my head that I wish weren't so, but they are so. Uh, the best I can do is just proceed, you know, uh, treat people the way I want to be treated. Haha, <laughs> instantly, Christian. And um, just, you know, try not to be so overtly judgmental. Uh, great videos as always. I didn't touch on everything you said because um, uh, I just I watched it and then I had a bath and then I came back to make this video. I wish I could always tap on everything you say because it's so interesting to me. Um, thanks again for a great video and keep up the good work. Talk to you soon.